There's a hilarious debate going on in the world of video gaming. Swedish game maker Paradox International released Victoria 3. Now that's a, it's a brilliant society simulation game where you can run your own country between 1836 and 1936. Now reviewers praise the realism of the governance and economic systems and their outcomes. You can run a deficit for a few years then build up a reserve or nearly bankrupt yourself fighting world wars before entering years of austere recovery. That's what PC Gamer magazine said. But then players noticed something. Using elements of socialism or communism, like you know, welfare subsidies, created calmer, happier societies than if you stuck to purer forms of capitalism and fought wars to expand your reach. This triggered puzzled discussions about whether lefty systems were as evil as they were painted to be. Like you're taught over and over in school that capitalism is the only solution and that socialism is evil. Maybe systems that focus on fighting inequality by redistributing wealth could create content societies, some gamers concluded. It's almost like this is what happens when the ruling classes of every other nation don't immediately place trade restrictions on the communists, said uh, someone who signed himself, I am a robot 101. Hmm. But do games tend to promote rightist or leftist economics? The debate grew so big that it even was covered in, in the Financial Times. Defenders of capitalism pointed out that a huge number of games and movies actually have storylines where the bad guys are fat cat business corporations. So they give a message that swings left rather than right. But the response to that was that those storylines were inevitably cartoon-like and superficial, while Victoria 3 has depth and allows people to actually try out different paths. One iteration of the game ended up with Australia being taken over by Han Chinese through peaceful migration. What to do? The game's developers swung into action. They sent out a software update that boosts capitalism and downgrade socialism or communism. It's kind of a morality tale for modern times, isn't it? Disclaimer, the present writer dislikes all party politics and thinks we should go back to the time of enlightened leaders like you know, Marcus Aurelius or Duke Wen of Zhao or good King Alfred. <laughs> Goodbye.